Today on Make a Ticket Outdoors, we're going to go over non lead alternatives for inline spinners. Stay tuned. <music> So you want to get these beads um, that I'm going to be talking about. Use your eBay app. Um, go to Michael's Hobby Lobby. You, these they usually cost about three to five dollars for a strand. Um, we're talking a 15, 16 inch strand of eight millimeter beads. That's a lot of beads. That's a lot of lures. Um, they had great success so far with them for uh, smallmouth and everything. Had some success with large, or uh, not largemouth. Eh, I've caught a few largemouth, but uh, trout's also. Um, it is 54 degrees out there today. It is September 23rd. I just got back from the desert, and this is a lot colder than that. Surprise, surprise. Um, but pretty soon the uh, trout releases will start happening in some of the rivers around here. So I'm going to do some trout fishing this winter because I hate not being able to fish year round, um, even though I'm more of a small mouth and large mouth guy. Um, so let's get right into the beads and that way you can see what I've been using. First up is the uh, material I used for my first inline spinners. And this is hematite. This is the natural looking hematite. Um, doesn't matter if it's man-made or not. Man-made is usually a little bit cheaper. These are uh, eight millimeter beads, and this is the way you get them on the internet. You get them in strands. Um, always try to find strands. Individual beads, never worth it, really. But hematite is nice because it's a form of iron oxide. It's not rust, but it does have some heft to it. Um, and that's one of the reasons I like that. But this is the natural color. It's a dark gray and uh, does a great job. Now, you can also get hematite in a few other colors. Um, you can get like a peacock color and everything, or you can get silver. Let's get that focus there. Sorry. There we go. Silver. And you can also get it in like a gold color. So again, great for trout spinners, inline spinners for bass and everything. Um, that's hematite. Next up is, we'll go with white jade. Now, I don't know if this is actually jade, if this is what this is really made of, but they call it white jade. Um, and uh, works great just for, I mean, white lures are very, very, very popular. You may see this one, uh, and this is another fun one. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is the jade and this one here, which is onyx, which is just black. These are going to be lighter than a hematite, but they still work great. I usually use three of them uh, with a number, I'd say a six hook, number two French blade, but this is onyx. Now, the next one up is agate. And agate you can get dyed in a whole bunch of different colors. And the cool thing about agate is it got these uh, really cool lines in it. And it's a lot of fun for a lure. Um, again, you, sorry. once you start buying this stuff, you can make all the lures you want for just pretty much pennies, whatever the cost of the uh, materials are. And the uh, other agate I have right now is this uh, brown one that's been dyed. And I've had good success with it, usually with a uh, small mouth and everything. But that's the agate. Let's uh, lock that in there. Okay, now this one I have really, really, really used a ton. It's another one of those quote unquote jades, but wait till you see what this one looks like. It's uh, it's perfect for fishing lures. It's kind of a yellow or green uh, chartreuse. Look at that. That is awesome. And I use this a lot for a uh, small mouth. Um, 
Haven't tried it on trout yet, but they this uh, fall I should. I can't even talk, sorry. But uh, that is another dyed jade. All right, so now we're going to get into another really cool one. And this is Red River Jasper. Red River Jasper. Now these are kind of plain beads. They're just uh, red. But you can also get Red River. And you can see the uh, right there. Some of the variation. You can get Red River Jasper. And it's red with white and black in it. And that's I've used those beads up. Um, but yeah, your Jaspers are really, really, really versatile. Uh, Red River Jasper. And then you also have, I believe this is, uh, either Picture Jasper or, oh, this is, uh, Leopard Jasper because it's got the round spots and stuff on it. And again, another one that's really good for a small mouth. I don't fish for trout much, but I'm sure it'll go right along with trout. Okay. By and large, this is my absolute favorite for uh, smallmouth. And this is Unakite. And you can kind of see why I like it. It's mottled green. Um, I usually tie on an olive and what they call root beer fur on the uh, treble hook and dress it that way and then run a couple of uh, French blades or a single French blade but Unikai it's just it's almost perfect it's kind of crawfishy um, here's I'll show you another and it has a lot of variation too you can see this one has a lot more of the peach color in it so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. But that one, I've caught some of my uh, best smallmouth on. So that's some of the uh, ones I use for my lures. My stock's pretty low right now. I need to get to uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby and pick up some more. But pretty much the, uh, the, the possibilities are endless. I've even made some with a red jasper bead and then a couple clear glass beads. Kind of like, makes it look like an egg. We'll see if it works this year. But again, possibilities are endless. Um, just get down to uh, your Michaels, Hobby Lobby. Uh, Joann's they all carry beads and everything if you go online go on eBay uh, just type in semi-precious uh, gemstones and you will be inundated with a ton of different rocks um, my suggestion is go with size 10 for your larger lures for the back end and then up front your size eight millimeter. So again, 10 millimeter and eight millimeter. And those two sizes seem to work out the most. Um, I've made some with, you know, I think this is a 12 millimeter here, but I don't like having a huge bead on the back end because that's where the hook is. So I think 10 and eights seem to work out the best. So there you have it. Um, I made this video because I'm trying to cover all the bases. There's a lot of people who are just getting to my channel and there's a lot of people who are just starting out in lure making. It's great to see how I'm making everything. Um, I've covered where I get my components from and that was two years ago. You can see it in my uh, library of videos, but I haven't gone over materials much, that, especially non-lead alternatives. A lot of states you can't have lead, so yeah. I think uh, I think people will appreciate this one. I'm hoping. And as always, do me a favor: hit like, hit subscribe, um, hit like especially because that's what really helps me out in the uh, algorithm for YouTube. More people see my videos that way, more people join, and everyone's happy all around. Okay, I'm happy. I hope you're happy too. So we'll let you go now. 
in the meantime, tight lines.